So I'm out here watering the trees because it's extremely hot out. And that's when I noticed that the fluffy poodle doesn't know how to drink out of a hose. There you go, good drink. It's much better that way, but your face is all wet. Let's wipe some of that wetness off. There you go, there you go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel the Big O. I'm out here with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his blue hair that turns purple about every two weeks. So we got asked, how can the Fluffy Poodle be around fireworks, loud noises, and all that such with so much confidence? So today we're gonna show you guys how Mr. Fluffy Poodle has built all that confidence around loud noises, distractions, and much more. The first step is building that confidence. You guys are gonna hear that a lot in this video is confidence, 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 because confidence is key in building that relationship and that bond of trust and knowing that I'm not gonna put him in a dangerous situation. With that being said, let's move on to step one. Right here in front of me, I have this little tunnel. This tunnel, I'm gonna have Mr. Fluffy Poodle go through it, building that confidence, letting him know if I put you in a situation, it is gonna be okay. My bad about the wind today. Fluffy, come here. Enter. Come on. Good boy. Do it again. Good boy. One more time. Good boy. Yes. Make sure you're rewarding your dog once they finish a task or what you ask of them. Out, good boy. Then try to repeat that. If, if you can only do the task or what is asked of them one time, give them a reward. If they can do it once, to have them do it twice. Do it three times, then reward. Build on that and then grow and then move on to the second step. Step number two is right here, right next to us. Fluffy sit. Since we got Mr. Fluffy Poodle in a situation and an environment that was new to him like that tunnel, we also want him to get that texture feel. And how do we do that texture feel on his paws and build that confidence in that area as well? Is we go and walk on fence like this or concrete or metal. We really help build that confidence in your dog, letting them know that, hey, some textures, feels, and environments is gonna be new and a little bit scary, but it's okay. So I'm gonna bring Mr. Fluffy Poodle in the heel position to the beginning of this fence. This is a plastic fence I'm using, not a metal one. And I'm gonna have him walk next to me in the heel and reward him at the end. Fluffy, heel, good. Yes! And there he goes, he gets his reward and he brings it straight back. Out, Fluffy, place. Good, sit, good, down. Doing things like this on new textures and new feels is going to help build that confidence. Keyword, we're building that confidence so we can get around to those loud noises, thunder, fireworks, and so on. Now the third step before you go and expose your dog or before I expose Mr. Fluffy to all those sounds and those new environments is letting them be around some loud noises. Good boy, good boy. Good boy, he's a good boy. Don't be shy with just wood. Throw that one piece of wood down and grab yourself a bucket as well. That's right, grab yourself a bucket and a piece of wood and let's play some drums, ladies and gentlemen. And let's get your dog around some more noises. Hit it on the side. Hit it on the corners. Here's a good boy. Good boy, Fluffy. So if you haven't noticed by now, you really need to start from the ground up and build that confidence. Letting your dog know that, hey, we may be in around some situations and some scenarios that may be uncomfortable, but we're gonna get through it together because there's some times where I may not be able to and he feels confident and helps me. And there's other times where it's like, hey, we got to do this together. Why? Because it's that bond. It's that, hey, letting them know that you save my life on a daily basis and I'm going to give you the most brain power there is and we're going to build that confidence and have that bond that's unmatched anywhere. 
I hope you guys had an amazing time on this episode. I hope you guys smile. I hope you guys enjoy something that the world has to offer because I know the Fluffy Poodle and I sure are today. With that being said, you know who I am. My name is Daniel the Big Go with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his blue hair. And I hope you guys had a great time. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Make sure you guys are liking the video, subscribing down below, hitting those post notification bells and making sure they're set to all. Make sure you're following us on TikTok, Instagram, and everywhere in between. And Fluffy, you ready? Oh, you a good boy. You a good boy. I love you so much. He's like, ew. Give me a high five. Y'all have a good day. Bye bye. Shake it like salt, shake it, shake it like salt, shake it, shake it like salt, shake it. Woo woo. Let's go.